uh, real treat today uh, from the people who brought you the tricky three, trick one, square or die, and the tricky three, trick two, domain domination, comes the third in the trilogy, the tricky three, trick three, quantum of quadratics. Uh, this is probably the hardest of the three uh, that we're doing here when it comes to solving these trig equations. Uh, but much like James Bond, keep your head, uh, play it cool, and you shouldn't uh, run into too much trouble with them. Uh, so this is what we're dealing with here. 2 cos squared theta plus 5 cos theta minus 3 equals 0. And 0 is less than theta, which is less than 2 pi. Now, there's a bit of a spoiler in the name of the um, movie here, uh, Quantum of Quadratics. Uh, this is essentially a quadratic equation. Uh, you can see that there's a squared variable here, uh, the variable itself, and then a constant, and it's all equal to zero. So, pretty straightforward. You guys have seen this kind of thing before. We can let cos theta equal something. I'm going to let it equal x. Uh, and from there, we just need to solve our quadratic. So we've got 2x squared. Now, I said I let cos theta equals x. This is cos squared theta, so or cos theta all squared. Uh, so that's going to be 2x squared plus 5 cos theta, which is x, minus 3, and that's going to be equal to 0. Now, from here, you can solve uh, this however you see fit. I'm going to go a bit old school here and uh, factorize it. Uh, let's see if I can figure that one. So here's our uh, factorized uh, quadratic, 2x minus 1 bracket times x plus 3 equals 0. Uh, so that means that either 2x minus 1 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. Uh, that means that x equals negative 3 or um, 2x minus 1, 2x equals 1, x equals 1 half. Uh, so now I've got two alternative values. Either x is equal to a half or x is equal to negative 3. Uh, now remember that x is actually cos theta. So let's test this out for both of our values and see if it makes sense. Uh, cos theta is equal to 1 half. Uh, we've seen that sort of question before, and it's not going to pose any sort of trouble to us. Let's look at this one. Cos theta is equal to negative 3. Now, that's an issue. Um, now, it's not something we've talked about a great deal, but go way back. Uh, where is it? Uh, let's go way back here. Um... Uh, actually, I don't have the lesson that I want to have a look at, so instead, let's just take a quick look. Unit circle, remember that the unit circle has a radius of 1, and remember that cos theta is the x value of this point. Now, because this is a unit circle, and that's 1, and that's 1, and that's negative 1, and that's 1, uh, cos theta needs to be between 0 and 1. That's the only way that cos theta exists. Cos theta... It can equal anything, but it must be between, well, actually, 0 is less than cos theta. Well, actually, it must be between negative 1 and 1, because uh, it could exist anywhere along here and anywhere along here. My point is that when you do a question like this, often you'll get an answer that is either greater than 1 or less than negative 1. In other words, not between negative 1 and 1. If that's the case, we can disregard. Disregard no answer. Okay, board's getting a bit weird here. Let's uh, draw a box and finish this off. Okay, so we know that we can disregard this answer, but this answer is still in play. So cos theta equals one half. Now, uh, we should be able to jump straight back into our uh, table. Where is it? Way back here somewhere. And we should be able to say that cos theta equals a half. That's pi on 3. Great, there's our reference angle. Go away. Okay, so reference angle equals pi on 3. 
Now we can see that it's positive, so it's going to exist in this one and this one. Unit circle that, it's going to exist here and here. Let's try that again. It's going to exist here and here. Pi on 3. Pi on 3. Now our domain's only between 0 and 2 pi, so there's going to be two answers. Theta is equal to this angle, pi on 3, or this angle, 5 pi on 3. Uh, that brings a close to our trilogy, the tricky three. Uh, really here, when it comes to quadratics, let cos theta equal x, solve it. You can solve this, you don't have to factorize it like I did here. Uh, you can use your, um, your quadratic formula if you like to get those two answers. Now one of them you can probably disregard because it won't be between negative and one. Not always though, sometimes you'll get two viable answers. In that case you'll have to solve them both, um, much like we did in uh, episode one, uh, square or die. Okay, that's uh, the tricky three. Uh, you really need to practice them, make sure that you're on top of them because they are important.